Hello, Richard. <laughs> Josh, how you doing, mate? Not too shabby. I am a bit annoyed, though. Why, sir? Can't get that off the wall. <sighs> You've just not put the effort in, have you? No, probably not. When I filmed the little clip to go, oh, I'm just going to rip this off the wall, didn't actually quite happen, so I had to cut it early. So I couldn't physically get it off. <laughs> no. How are you in here, Richard? All good, mate. All good. We've had somebody uh, ask us a question about whether we can put a photograph out of vinyl. Mm. Well, you can sort of, but not, not really. Because obviously you've got shades and skin tone and all that sort of thing that you, you need ink to do with, really. But... What we have found out is that you can create a vectored image from a photograph so that you can use it on your t-shirts and hoodies and create something that I think is really good. Mm. Well, Richard, that sounds fairly interesting. Shall we show the people the technique you've discovered? Yeah, I think let's have at it. Vinyl allows you to cut vectored images using the blade of the cutter to score the lines in the vinyl to allow you to cut out things like text, shapes and logos. Obviously, when it comes to photographs, you have to take into consideration the fact that you've got skin tone, you've got hair, and you've got texture, which you can't create using just scoring lines onto a piece of vinyl. But what you can do is create a vectored image from a photograph, which is what we're going to show you how to do now. So the technique that we're going to show you today is we're going to take a photograph and we're going to create a vectored image from that that allows you to create the features of people's faces that you can score and cut out onto the vinyl. So let's do that now then, shall we? Okay, so for this technique, Josh has taken a, a picture of me and sent it to me. So you can clearly see that there's no background and this is black and white. But as you can see, it's a very simple photograph with clearly defined bold lines and no noise to create any confusion. So the way we're going to create this vectored image is by using the filter and then we're going to use what's called the stamp tool. So using the stamp filter on our photograph it's created some bold straightforward shapes that the cutter can cut out. That allows Inkscape to be able to vector the image. Okay so we're going to show you the process right from the very beginning using this full colour photograph. Unlike the photograph of me this has got background in and it's full colour. So we're going to show you why it needs to be the background removed and in black and white. So if I stamp this photograph now, as you can see, the stamp filter has picked up all of the background shapes and it's distorted some of the shapes of her face. So that's not really what we want. So I'll go back, remove the background, turn it into black and white, re-stamp it and show you how much better that's going to look. So as you can see, it's created a much easier photograph for the cutter to be able to define the shapes, cut them out and obviously make it easier for us to weed as well. As you can see, there needs to be a little bit more definition to this photo, so we're going to manually add a little bit of shoulder detail and a little bit of shoulder on this side. And this will just give it a little bit more shape and definition for the final cut. Of course, the image that we're going to use today is going to be of me. Okay, so you can see this image is a little bit too noisy, so we're going to just paint that out so as we've got some straightforward, bold shapes for the cutter to cut out. So obviously that's going to save us a lot of time when we come to weeding. So we've done a little bit more editing on this, so let's get it bitmapped and sent to the cutter. Okay, let's crack on with the weeding. Weed away, Richard, weed away. So it's going to take me a little bit of time to get the letters out, so we'll come back to you when that's done. Well, you know us, Richard, with the power of video editing. And that's us done. So let's show you how it's going to look on the t-shirt. So we've taken a photograph, we've vectored the image, and now you can clearly see it's the air fryer detective. Okay, so let's get our image on our t-shirt lined up nice and straightforward. So I think that's... Pretty square, but just to double check, we'll give it a bit of a measure. There we go. Ten and a half. Ten and a half. Let's get it pressed.
Okay, so we. There we have it. Looking smart, Richard. I can also be in gold. Ooh, very nice. Modeling the air fryer detective t shirt, Richard. I'm sure, I'm sure that's a woman's t shirt. How can it be a woman's t shirt? Because <laughs> the neck's so large. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. I've just got a fat body. <laughs> could do with a couple of sizes bigger, though, I think. Well, Richard, thank you for showing everybody not only the technique of how to use a photograph and turn it into a vinyl image, but also thank you for modelling it so excellently. Thank you very much. But if you like the video, don't forget like share and subscribe for more modeling videos <laughs> give us a twirl <laughs>